Well, holy smokes, guys, put your kids to bed, hide your wives, because today we got news about EA, okay? We're hearing that EA got sued, and I know that some of you guys will be like, hey, Skizzle, like, this sounds like a good news. Why should I hide my wives? But listen here, Mr. Smarty Pants, they still got this lady working with them, okay? She's probably gonna come out and be like, hey, these are just surprise mechanics. She, she's probably gonna pull out one of those loopholes, right? So not so quick, Mr. Smarty Pants, and I'm fully aware that there has been situations where kids have emptied out their parents' bank accounts right i'll talk about it in this video we also got a new campaign footage for black ops that i want to show you guys in this video we also have a new concept art that confirms a new assassin's creed game that's going to be coming out after walhalla we also got news about uncharted and we also have a situation in the in the six where people are getting gang banged by not only sony but amazon target and gamestop people are getting gang banged my g we're hearing that pre-orders are getting canceled left and right for ps5 and c consider yourself lucky if you still have xbox and ps5 pre-orders secured because the situation is absolutely wild we're gonna talk about it but first off a massive shout out to every single one of you guys out there we hit 1300 likes again on the last video this is like three uh, three times in a row right and that's a very rare thing for me thank you all so much for the love man and if an alpha chat like you is new here i cover all the big gaming news so burn a party kill subscribe Mardo. and our first story is about ea i mean get they're back in the news we're hearing that loot box the lawsuit claims Electronic Arts ran an unlicensed illegal gaming system and this happened three days ago. Apparently, Canada just sued them, right? And I'm really proud of Canada. And really though, it's EA, right? They're gonna be fine. Like, people complain about their kids, like, emptying out their bank accounts. Nothing happened, right? We still saw this lady saying that, hey, but uh, we're just making surprise mechanics. Now we're hearing this quote, gaming is strictly controlled and licensed in this country. In breach of these laws, the defendants have operated an unlicensed illegal gaming system through their loot boxes. Through this suit, Canadian consumers seek to hold the defendants accountable, the defendants, aka EA, right? Accountable for this unlawful conduct and to recover their losses. And I, I personally don't think anything's big gonna happen. They're probably gonna find more loopholes and whatnot, but this is still good. Like, I, I wanna be positive in this situation. Hey, we might be able to defeat microtransactions and whatnot. Hopefully, man, one day, wherever you can find light, there is always hope, okay? And also, speaking of microtransactions, well, it seems like that uh, our boy Mark Wahlberg has definitely bought a microtransaction because, of course, uh, a lot of people were like, hey, man, like Mark Wahlberg, where is his mustache, right? We first saw him on the set uh, for the Uncharted movie. We also have this uh, Nate look from Tom Holland. He shared that just a couple of days ago. I reported that. Now Mark Wahlberg, uh, it seems like that he bought a microtransaction. A lot of people were like, hey man, where is the mustache, right? Buy a microtransaction. And it seems like that the homie did buy a microtransaction. He got a mustache, guys. So I personally am optimistic about this movie. I know that some people are like, hey man, this is just gonna be another one of those movies. It's just, like, it can go Sand. I'm excited for this movie. I know that a ton of people are and a ton of people aren't as well And I see you right. We'll see what happens But the good news in all of this is that hey, he did buy a microtransaction He got the mustache. So you know what claps for that one And we also got news about the ps5 loading times for devil may cry 5 and if you have a three thousand dollars PC You might not wanna you might want to skip this story Okay, because we're actually hearing this and personally <laughs> We have a video here that I want to play uh, in the background and this is where where we see the PS5 loading time be like two seconds. I mean, that is fast, my G. And PC took 11 seconds, and the Xbox One X took 17 seconds, and PS4 loading time was about 22 seconds. Now, that is absolutely wild, my G. I wanna know how you feel about it, especially if you're on a PC, right? I know that my PC master race folks will be like, I don't believe this by me. I have a $3,000 PC. Listen, man, I fully agree with you. Like, this is, we're talking a $500 console. Like, how could it be, right? I wanna put it in a good news category but speaking of some bad news i know that the other day when i reported the fact that the xbox series x pre-orders were getting canceled people were making fun of it right in the comments below people were like hey it's just an xbox i know that there were like sony ponies and whatnot i'm a sony pony myself but that's like the last thing right of course we're talking pieces of plastics i totally get that some of you will say that hey it's just a console right it's just a piece of plastic so what if it got canceled i know some people will say that but at the end of the day it is all about feelings right like once you buy a product or you put a pre-order on a product you build anticipation and you kind of anticipate for it right you start thinking about it you start to fantasize about it like hey like it's gonna solve my problems it's gonna do this 
it's gonna bring in my life and once it breaks or canceled in this situation it will break people's heart and that's the last thing i personally want to see right of course a lot of people xbox series x consoles were canceled and people were kind of like making fun of it and i was like dog we're still 20 days away anything can happen right like uh you don't want to say that you don't want to jump like that and we're still 18 days away so anything can happen papa bless dog but reports of playstation 5 pre-order cancellations are making the rounds and they have combined like literally everything in this article surely i don't want to go through everything here but i do want to point out this and there is good news there is bad news for people who haven't got their pre-order in this is good news but of course homie got gang banged in the six he says that i'm sorry to inform you th that's what gamestop said i'm sorry to inform you that your order has been cancelled since the order was not supposed to be placed has been cancelled due to the website error with the url with which this order was placed gamestop are a bunch of wankers right like as european people would say hey they're a bunch of wankers mate we are sincerely sorry for the disappointment and inconvenience we created with this experience since your order has been cancelled at some point keep an eye on the website for the third pre-order wave so if you haven't pre-ordered yet well that is a good news but we're already hearing horror stories where hey pre-order now and get your console in 2021 i mean at that point i mean we do not have an exact date yet so they do not have the exact date all pending authorization will cancel after three to four days or the order is canceled and you can see there are numerous situations right this homie uh playstation legitimately <laughs> canceled his ps5 accessories he pre-ordered straight from the sony pony website he got gang banged and we also have russell out here he got gang banged by amazon and my man joji kind of added me in the situation keep working on the jawline my dude i'm not 100 percent sure whether this is from the first wave or the second wave but if i have to take a guess i would say this is from the second wave right like damn if they cancel the first wave people that's gonna bring Speaking of Assassin's Creed, the, the concept art was actually leaked. I, I think it's leaked or maybe it's not leaked, but we're hearing that concept art suggest a Chinese or a feudal Japan setting that is going to be on the way. And of course, previously this was leaked out or put out and apparently now this was put up on the internet. This kind of gives me that Zatsubu no Shima zombies vibe. So this is what we got and it seems like that two years later, we're also going to be getting another Assassin's Creed game. If you're a fan of it, hey, that's good news. Now, speaking of the Black Ops campaign footage, I will put it in the background it is about 20 seconds long and it was aired on ufc and i believe that the gaming revolution actually uploaded the whole thing and he got gang banged by ufc uh copyright system so i might slow it down i will have to mirror the the clip just so i can show you guys in this video and it does look pretty good right i really really like the look of it it has the ability of being phenomenal of course time will tell us for sure some people aren't liking the game so far and that is perfectly fine i mean i played it and i'm not really hitting the g spot I'm not necessarily mind blown or anything by by black ops but I do have to say this like I had personally I had more fun by playing black ops like I, I just gotta admit it luckily I ended up liking fire team a lot you know that snow map that was in fire team so far that's my favorite map in the game it's fast paced the time to kill is very good but hey at the end of the day if the campaign is good and if the zombies is good hey that's all that matters to me but Share your expertise in the comments below. Turn those notifications on. I'm gonna keep all of you stud muffins in the loops. Click on any of the video on the screen. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine, and I will see you right there. Stud muffin out.